Without moving your parallels, move it over to the center. And always reading in the same direction. Sweater girl, this is Sweater McGee. Radio check, over. This is Fighting Buddy, Roger, out. One of your most important skills will be communications. Using operational terminology and proper communications procedures. Roger, out. This being week 12, when we're nearly through with school, it is the most important for us to go into our complex section of our rate. Now, ASW is used to deny the enemy the effective use of his submarine. Now, this can be accomplished. All of the things you learn will give you a foundation for advanced radar and CIC tasks. Where we go out and try to locate and destroy his submarine. Perhaps the most valuable and exciting moments in the whole training process will occur when you begin simulated training exercises in the CIC mock-up. All the information made available from the radars and refined by the various plotting techniques is coordinated so the evaluators can make their recommendations to command. Here, in a glance, is the surface status, surface summary, vertical plot, the air status, and other boards, including a record of the communications channels throughout the information network. Communications is necessarily a primary function of the CIC. After you've learned radar's language, you become an interpreter for everyone else who needs that information. So it's up to you to get the news in and out, quickly and accurately. To do that, You'll be using sound-powered phones, multi-channel intercom circuits, and radio telephones. You'll learn to use all of them and know how to construct messages and how to keep track of all the message traffic. This is where all the individual pieces of training will come together. Equipment room mock-up, stand by, start the problem, start the clocks. This is where you will begin to know the satisfaction that comes from efficient teamwork. Foxtrot 1, new bogey, red, 090, 120. The work itself will become second nature to you as you fill every job in the CIC and fill it well. Whiskey, this is Alpha Whiskey, bogey, Foxtrot 1, bird target, bird's type, break, Foxtrot over. This is Foxtrot, roger out. Stand by to mark Skunk Alpha, bearing 0, 0, 1 degrees. 29,000 yards. What I like about the mock-up is that you're putting everything you've learned uh, to practice uh, as you do, Fox you find it Bravo. comes a little bit easier. Even though you're in a, a building somewhere, you do get a sense of, uh, some sort of a sense of reality uh, of what you're going to be doing on the ship. Yeah, I enjoy that very much. Being right where the action is, being uh, right where everything is going on, being where the decisions are being made, I've enjoyed this school tremendously. You learn basics more than particulars. And uh, everything changes so rapidly, you don't ever really get bored with anything. You're on navigation one week, uh, and then a scope the next week, and uh, communication. And it keeps your interest. By keeping your interest, you do pick up a great deal. Now that I'm graduating, I already have my ship assignment. And I'm going to Charleston, USS Borderline, the destroyer. And uh, I feel very good about it. Along about this time, everybody is beginning to wonder where they're headed next. Well, you can count on one thing. There's a ship in your future. I took my training uh, at A school, uh, Great Lakes. They give you the basics there. It's just you have to supplement that with whatever knowledge they give you after that. Well, our responsibility mainly is uh, to give the recommendations to the officer deck to make the best tactical recommendation at the time and to base it on all information on hand. So that's what our training is all about. If uh, we're not prepared, well, then we might as well not go out. Next month, I'll be attending uh, one class. It's uh, advanced CIC uh, procedures. It all depends on what you make of it. If you want to uh, go far, you can go far because this, this rate is wide open. We look for a man who 
intelligent, he's able to cope with pressure situations. But for the most part, they come with a, with a very good knowledge. Every day, uh, changes come into pubs, uh, publications, doctrine, procedures, and the, uh, the operations specialist has to keep himself abreast of all these different changes in order to uh, do his job in a correct way. With our defensive posture, I, it requires, first of all, a good fundamental knowledge of what they're doing. And then they've got to be able to almost instantaneously react and, and get out the proper recommendations to command and control. As you begin the training that will one day lead each of you to a ship heading out to sea, try to keep in mind the whole picture. A ship is a small island moving in a vast and unpredictable water world where everything depends on how well the men who serve aboard can work together. Right. Zero, four, five. Even though you're not yet aboard a ship, your job has already begun. As you learn to detect danger and keep a ship aware of its surroundings, you've started working to make all your voyages as smooth and untroubled as they can possibly be. Zero, four, five, zero, nine, five, time, two, seven, out. 